Well, this is something that happened just minutes back and we await further detail. But what is very clear is uh, from the police report so far that uh, one person has been arrested and uh, rather reassuringly we hear that no one is injured. Routinely, a very large number of people stand outside the gates of Downing Street to watch the Prime Minister come and go, get themselves photographed and whatnot. And if a car has abruptly turned in from Whitehall towards the gates of Downing Street, there would be a very serious danger to a number of people present there at any given time. We do hear there are no injuries, but we do await also further details. It is also clear that this was a quite senseless move. The entrance to Downing Street itself is very strongly guarded. You have a fence as a first line of defense. Then we have uh, uh, bollocks that are telescopic uh, bollards that can be put up. Then we have very heavy iron gates. Then we have a ring of uh, security personnel uh, on duty there. There's a further uh, a line of uh, telescopic bollards. The bollards. So this is now going to be a five or six lines of defense before anyone can get into uh, Downing Street. And we know that there has been an attack on Parliament where one policeman was killed in an attack where somebody crashed a car into the building. Since then, the police have really stepped up security. This move was not going to get anywhere. A desperate move, it would appear also, most certainly a crazed move, while we await further details about the state of the person who carried out this uh, uh, attempt to break into Downing Street. Well, uh, on the first issue, uh, he clearly did not get in very far, clearly did not get in past the gates at all. It would have been impossible to do so. And it is almost at the entrance to Downing Street. Uh, never mind the entrance to 10 Downing Street, which is further down, uh, a couple of hundred yards or 150 yards down from the entrance of Downing Street uh, to 10 Downing Street. Uh, clearly didn't get that far, didn't get even to enter Downing Street, because that's where you have very effective barricades. Clearly, this person has carried out a desperate act. It was certainly not guided by any realistic sense of what uh, the person could achieve. And uh, we have no information what this person was trying to achieve. Seems to have been a desperate form of protest. But we do await further details from the police on this.